All right, we're talking bumps, babies, and beyond. All this week and today, we're tackling a tough one for a lot of parents, sleep. It's not just about getting enough rest, but making sure baby is safe while resting, too. Mm -hmm. Nine News medical expert Dr. Camilla Sasson is here with us this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh -huh. So this is a big deal, the Safe to Sleep campaign. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the American Academy of Pediatrics has been really promoting this as an educational campaign for parents really since 1994. They started with Back to Sleep at that time. The idea is all of the things that you need to do as a parent to keep your infant safe. So the first one, most important one, is put your child on their back. Mm -hmm. So really up until they're one years old, you should not put them on their tummy. So many time. things have changed, yes. even yeah. in <laughs> recent years. Oh, I, between my 21 months, between my two kids, things change. I, you know, and so then you start having grandparents who are coming over, giving you all t kinds of tips saying, oh, right. you know, this, is, this worked for me, don't worry about it. And this is the segment to show them to say, actually, if you want to take care of baby, here's what you got to do. Right. Yeah. So talk <laughs> about a safe sleep environment. Yeah, okay, so this, this is sort of the what not to put in your <laughs> career. <laughs> so, All of that. Yes, exactly. Pretty much. So no blankets, no pillows, so nothing that is loose, right? That's the most important thing. A lot of folks still have bumpers in their cribs, and you, that's just a, a place that a child can strangle, get strangulated. Right. So really want to make sure you don't have that in Nothing crib. in the crib. Nothing. No teddy bears, yeah. nothing to keep them warm. The only thing you can do is go ahead and give them a little sleep sack. That's what this thing is. So um, firm surface, no loose materials. Bear is best is what you just, that's the motto. That's what you should be thinking about. So nothing. It's barren. It's in there. so <laughs> hard, you know. I mean, so. I'm sure as a parent, you know, and especially in the winter months, you mm -hmm. want to put Put something in there with them, but oh yeah, no, this is this is it. This is your little. Uh, this is a big sack, sleep sack, there. actually. But <laughs> yeah. uh, that's all you want to do. Now you can still swaddle. So we're going to talk a little bit about swaddling, but that's only for the first two months, and then after that, there's no blankets. It's just one extra layer more than what you're wearing. So, so how long is is bare is best? How long should that go on so for? So really, at least for. I mean, we did not put a pillow or blankets into our cribs until our child was two. Two years old. Two years wow. Old. Yeah, and she didn't care. Our, mm -hmm. Both kids didn't care. It's it's really more for the parents, right. where you're thinking, oh, I want to bundle them up, I want to put a pillow in there, but right. they don't need it. And really, SIDS, the sudden infant death syndrome, is really the big reason that we care so much about this. And mm -hmm. you know, it, there's data to show that when you put all of these things in there. That's how they can get hurt and they can yeah. not stop breathing. Yeah. Talk about co-sleeping. I know mm -hmm. a lot of parents kind of go back and forth on whether or not they should have baby in bed or not. Yeah, so baby should not yeah. be in bed, no matter what you do. With it's so hard. Yeah, I know, not with the parents, right? So um, you can have them next to you mm -hmm. in a bassinet. That's a great place, a crib, even a play yard. Um, that's the pack and play that a lot of people might use as well too, but not in the in the bed because again, parents are tired. They can roll over and, and really kind of hurt the baby or even suffocate the baby. Um, or even the mattress is really uh, soft and that's another way again that the child can stop breathing. And then of course there's loose uh, comforters and mm -hmm. pillows mm -hmm. and things too. So all of that can hurt the baby. I know. And then lastly, you mentioned swaddling. Let's yes. talk about that. So swaddling was like a savior for us. <laughs> I will say that. It's like that. Yeah. wrapping them up yeah. like a woman, They look like right? a little burrito. That's what yeah. we used to call them. It's yeah. like our little baby burritos. So um, it definitely has been shown to help babies sleep. Now, um, the American Academy of Pediatrics says only until about two months uh, old. And then if they can start to, if they look like they're about to flip over, get them out, put, switch them to the sleep sack for sure, and then make sure that they don't overheat again because again, it's really warm in that little sleep sack. Um, and then the other big thing to think about too is um, AAP wants you to have them in your bedroom up to six months, mm -hmm. possibly a year. Wow. Yeah, in the that room with is you. That longer than so I thought. It's a little controversial, actually. <laughs> wow. yes. Well, because you're already tired, and, yeah. and anyone who's slept with a baby in the room right. knows that they're they're grunting, they're you know, and you're as the parent are right. so hyper aware of it all. But they say they recommend at least six months, and then um, up to a year yeah. if you can handle it. So we we switched over at six months. There you go. All right. Yeah, Gary's like I'm so happy. Over this part things have of my changed life. since my kids were born. Week. Yeah, I'm wait one you. more year, and I'm sure something new will come out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but bear is best. That's the thing to remember. And uh, back to sleep. So always on their back. All right, Dr. Camilla, thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. <laughs>